Alrighty, let's go over words their way, sort 48. And we are dealing with four prefixes here. X, non, in, and for. And we'll go over the meanings of each one of these, as well as some of the words um, that you might not know from each of the four different prefixes. So here we go. All right, and let's start by defining each of these. So X means out or beyond. Non is simply not. Four could mean before or in front of. And then in has a couple different meanings. It could be not, or it could also be in or into. And now that we've got these, let's look at a little bit of each one and a few of the words you may not know. And we'll start with X. So X, a couple words here. Um, extend and expand are pretty similar. Extend, it means to make longer. Um, often you'll have like an extension cord if you need to make a cord longer. Um, it also could be, could be time, like if you needed more time to write, <clears throat> I could extend your writing time. But extend means to make longer. Expand is very similar. And that one means to make bigger. Um, so kind of like beyond, going beyond the original size would be those two. Exclude means to leave out. So, for example, you try not to exclude people on the playground. You try to include them, the opposite. Exclaim, you might know to say excitedly, as in exclamation mark. Same word, exclaim, exclamation mark. And two more for this one. Express has two meanings. So express could be to express yourself, um, to show your feelings. Or it could be fast transportation. So uh, here, out, your feelings are going out. And fast transportation would be more like beyond. It's going beyond, like an express train. So now let's look at non. And this is not as complicated. Um, there's really only one word you probably might be confused about, which is non-fat. You might think that means a person who's not fat, like if someone's skinny, they're non-fat. But non-fat doesn't mean that. It's to describe food that doesn't have fat in it. For example, there's different types of milk you can buy. You can buy milk that has fat in it, or you can buy non-fat milk. So really, that's the only one for non. I think you need to know. The other ones you know already, probably. So let's see. Let's look at four now a forecast is a prediction about the future um, usually it's for the weather though for example there's a forecast of a storm coming into the caribbean your forearm is the part of your arm from the wrist to the elbow so this here is your forearm 4C, very similar to forecast. It means to predict. Foremost, we will say, is the most important. It could also be the top ranked. And then the word foreshadow is when an author hints at what will happen in a story. And let me give you an example of foreshadow. Um, so I just read this book called Scar Island here. And it's about this boy, Jonathan, who uh, is taken prisoner on this island. Um, and in the beginning, or towards the beginning, there's this chapter called The Hatch. And in this chapter, they see these stairs, and Jonathan's like, what's down there? And this guy says, why the hatch, my boy, a door of sorts, and beyond it, Death and despair and darkness, it'd be a door that holds back a monster. So <clears throat> this chapter is hinting that the hatch is something that's going to be coming up in the story. They don't go down there right now, but it's foreshadowing that that has something important to do with the story. 
So almost all good authors foreshadow what's going to be coming up in the story. And now let's quickly uh, just do the last one here, which is in. So we'll have a quick look at this. So some of the words that are not are pretty obvious, like incomplete or incorrect, not complete, not correct. Another one, indecent, means not decent. More specifically, it would be something unpleasant, rude, or even shocking. Like if you use indecent language in front of an adult or someone else, you'd probably get in trouble. Um, indecent means unpleasant, rude, or shocking. The other ones here, I think, are all more of this meaning, in or into. A person's income is money someone earns regularly from a job, is their income. Um, insight means a deep understanding of something or someone. Indent is to leave space at the start of a paragraph. For example, if we take a look at the same text, we can see each time they are starting a new paragraph, they're leaving this space or indentation that's called to indent. So that is another long one. But again, these prefixes have a lot of different um, examples. If you look at in, there's literally hundreds of words using this one. Um, so these will come in handy and look for these words in your reading. Um, if you can find some more, add them to a word hunt. But these are your words for the week, and thank you for sticking with this long video. Bye.